It's like or die, nigga. <laughs> All right, this is an impromptu Nike or Die episode with Jay Silencio, 4 5, <laughs> and Kicks for Days, Terrence, and Jay. Here with Shorty C94. I don't mean to interrupt y'all, I just had to do the, the opener. Oh, you good, you good. You good. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel bad because, <laughs> you know, Kicks for Days here, Terrence, you know what I'm saying? But my boy for years, he felt some of my anger from this morning. The, um, you know, next next Coventry did not receive the uh, black and red one. Um, the majority of the company did not, but this isn't about next. I don't talk about, you know, the company on this podcast, but I'm officially an angry sneakerhead. Officially. And I'll always love sneakers. But I hate the shoe game. Hate it. I'm a tired one. You know, I'm, I'm definitely just an outlet shopper now, thrift store shopper now. Fuck new releases. <laughs> Fuck them. That's where I'm at. I'm tired of what's going on. I'm tired of shit. One goddamn shit. Garfield 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. Garfield 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. Every time I'm recording, this shit pops up. Yeah, so you were saying that your favorite shoes, Jack, were the... Griffey one, fresh water. Yes. Playoff thirteen. Yes. Favorite Jay of all time. Favorite Jordan of all time is playoff thirteen. Why? Because over the white, black, and red one. Yes, because you really can wear anything with that shoe, but also compared to all the other thirteens, that's not the one that's really thought of that much. Because like usually. The best colorway that a lot of people would probably choose would be the black and red one, that flint one, or that he got game one. So, I think the like playoff the, one is underrated. You like the difference, okay. Yeah. I feel it. I agree with you. My favorite 13 would probably be probably the flint. See, second, second black and red. For me, the white, black, and red one has a special meaning. It's because it was the first Jordan I truly wholly bought with my own money. I was working at TJ Maxx, and after that shoe came out, I quit. I was only there. Just to get the Get shoe. that shoe. I mean, I worked there for about six months, but, still. you know, they were pissing me off. I was still in high school. I was like, man, fuck this job. I got the Jordans now. Not even thinking, well, damn, I could have got, like, every color. I ended up getting every color anyway because I started being a waiter right after that. But still. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. So, you gotta sell something, whatever you got to do. What, whatever, man. Fuck that selling shit. It's for the love, Terrence. No, I'm saying you got to <laughs> sell. I was saying sell some, some clothes and some other shit. Oh, shows. man. In case you ain't got the money, you got to get your money up and get them. Like you I, want them that bad. I know before the end of the day, it's going to be somebody I know that's like, I got a pair, but I'm looking for 450 uh, I 450 I would never do nobody like that. Man. You see, I know what you would and that, I know that's, that you that's too much. That's rape. Like rape. That's a rape price. That's rape. <laughs> that's rape. <sighs> rape. R A P E. And plus, also about those thirteens. That's the twelve was my favorite model, and then right after that would be the thirteen. Okay. And, um, favorite model. Favorite. Oh, that's tough. Then we got Bam Bam Hendrix. Overly light skinned, pretty suburban, you know, long hair, wearing Jordans for fun. Why is that light skin? Because I'm recording. Oh. That's a podcast I do about sneakers. Oh. I've had Zach and others on here. What's going on, y'all? How you doing? All right. What? You asked me I was getting mad. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right, Chris. I'm gonna... All right, sir. I wish I wish I would have known. I would have tried to send and a half to get you next time. Oh no, I need I need eleven and a half. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I wouldn't have. Had. I still wouldn't have. Had you, yeah. I, I was gonna try for it, but it really yeah. is. the smallest I can do with a Jordan one house is eleven. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, brother. Uh, see you. All right, take care. Bam Hendricks here. She wasn't even gonna get the shoes till mine and back to claim what 
whatever Zach's Instagram name is. No, Zach didn't hype me up. You did. Yeah. I was like, man, you need these. You need these. This is, it's a beautiful shoes. Yeah, One of, they are. It's the shoe that saved Nike. <laughs> oh, and we got the shirts. No shoes, but we got the shirts. Oh, okay. This is, this is good here. Maybe I can wear these with my 1.5s. Okay. All right. I, I may. This is, they actually gave us two X's. It's so rare. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to put this to the side here. I don't usually do the podcast here on the sales floor, but, you know. So, yeah, yeah, I'm... I was just going to shoot for one colorway of that model, and this was it, so... Well, look, the black toe, the black toe does come out, and then they have that, it's basically the what the Jordan one, but now they call it the top three, where it's the black and red, the black and blue, and the Chicago all in one shoe. Is it like a what the? Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, I'll leave it to the flashy people for that. It's really not that bad. I don't really think we, oh, we got all these shirts. And um, we need to hang uh, these bleached um, rock shirts. Could you go get some more hangers? From where? Which? I ain't no more down here. There's no more hangers. Like, no more than regular. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. There are some Adidas jerseys that are mm-hmm. kind of on the back where the bags are. Mm-hmm. We can take the hangers off there because those are all going to be back style. Okay. Yeah, so, just so you guys know, from those NBA shorts on back, all of that stuff is on sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the NBA shorts on down. The NBA shorts are included. But yeah, so the 13 is, is uh, your second favorite model. The 12 is your favorite model. Okay. I know that sounds crazy, but around that time, well, that was, I mean, that was really around the time I had first seen like MJ in his last days. His true last days, not those Wizards' yeah. last days, but yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> the Chicago days. Ah, damn. Where'd those come from? I'm going to get them out there. I want some today. Yeah. Those will actually look good with those ones. Yeah, I think I might buy today. I'm a damn genius. <laughs> yeah, I remember both of those models very vividly in uh, elementary school. Okay. I feel it. I feel it. First and second grade. <laughs> I was in 10th and 11th grade when those, when those were out. Oh, man. It's all good. My, actually, the first one really um, got me on, like, this shoes, period. It was my first grade bus driver. She oh. Had, she had... She? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she. She had every colorway of the 12s. Like, all five of the originals. So taxi, white and red, obsidian, black and red, just playoff. About, just about. And then when I showed up to school with mine on one day, she gave me a call. Mm-hmm. Like, Garfield 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. Garfield 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. First pair ever. Too bad I don't have them anymore. I feel bad. I kind of yelled at Terrence because I was upset. I really feel bad about that. But I'm just upset that we didn't get the shoes. Really upset. If you want my, I, mean, I don't know if you've been on my page over the last 24 hours, but I posted a lot. I haven't. I, I just have not been on Instagram since, mm-hmm. since yesterday morning. Yeah, yeah. Since yesterday morning. Because when I found out, I had posted this uh, this video. It was from Game Four of the '98 Eastern Conference Finals. Michael Jordan was going to win the game. He shot it. And it like went in and then it came right back out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt. <laughs> we didn't get the, the Jordan 1 band. So, yeah, I'm still pretty upset. But it's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See? Everybody wants to text. Look at this, is somebody on offer up trying to sell them for uh, 550. Thank you. are welcome. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. 
must be fucking drunk. Oh my God, it's like you can't fresh out the gym. Fresh out the gym. I'm shower. I ain't even gonna shower. I'm gonna just go in this closed store and just <laughs> just must around the whole place. Cause that's that's what we do. But yeah. Um, and arguably, this was the biggest release of the year. More so than the twelve. More so than those fours. Yeah, I mean the fours. What hurt the Smith fours was the fact that they came out during All Star Weekend. Everybody was trying to get the OVO. And it was six degrees outside. So I had people out there, but I still had enough pairs for everybody I had. You know, and I got them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, we, we had enough pairs here. Um, the black and red 12 was big, but still not like this. To me, that's probably the closest thing to this. But still not quite, you know, because to me, and I mean, I hate to say it. I'll always remember last year we had in consecutive weeks you had the Hair 7, the Chicago 1, and the Black and Red 11 Low. They all came out back to back to back weeks. And every crowd was different. Now that 7 and 11 crowd were almost the same. Hood cats. No hood cats came for these ones. But I feel like this specific Black and Red one, everybody wants. Because everyone's talking about it. You know, because, and I hate to bring race into it, but like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you have a few white boys that want the 12s. They may only be looking for ones and some 11s. You know, some threes. You know what I'm saying? If the Black Cement 3 came out, we'd have a pretty integrated crowd out here. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain Jordans that I, I hate to say it, but the hood mainly fucks with. The hood loves 12s. I feel like the 12 has surpassed the 11. You know what I'm saying? The hood is a factor. So. You know, I'm not saying this to offend anyone. I'm sure I have listeners that are white, listeners that are black. You know, but it's it's just the hood is a factor. We love black and red. <laughs> and the hood just twelves in general. The hood loves twelves. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people in twelves. Yeah, Over more than ever before. Oh yeah. What's going on, y'all? I like the tears. Appreciate it. So. Yeah, but you know, and the fact that you can resell these for so much also makes you know people want to shoot more. Anyway, I feel like probably half or more than half the people are just going to do that. That's awesome. That's so the turn. Now, what size are you? I'm going to try. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Well, let's just hope that Nike just restocks them like they don't restock in the hell everything else. Yeah, right. I'm gonna <laughs> just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my luck on a couple of restocks. Well, I mean, not restocks, but um, a couple of the raffle places. People didn't go get them. Hopefully. Yeah, because I mean, with us, they gave them to um, Beachwood. They've already done a raffle. Um, Akron is doing an event for some tomorrow, and um, exhibition captain for some reason. So, I heard he got them too. Oh, well, but 275. <laughs> so. I'm going to go crack my nuts and see if I can get them. Right. Yeah, Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, thank you. We know that if I come back with a bag. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, um, not at Avalon, at uh, the Blueprint. Oh. A lot of sizes are done. The sizes, but I mean, he wants 275 for them. Which is, you know, it's not like paying for the shoe twice or getting two pairs, which is close enough. You know, and I'm not hating. That's his business. You know, I feel like I keep getting into hot water. You know what I'm saying? On this, I might not be able to, you know what I'm saying, upload this one. But I got you because, you know, you're finally on the show. Oh, yeah. This is the first podcast uh, I guess I'm a part of now. Yeah. But uh, going forward, I mean, I feel like I feel like this shoe and the Concord 11 are shoes that no matter when they come out, what time of year, you know, whatever day, it's going to be something people are going to want. I can never get an 11. Never had a pair of 11s. Never had an 11, 13, 14. Really? Soon. Ever. Yeah. Can you give me those hangers from those jerseys? In that year? Yeah, they should be right there. To be completely Green. honest, 
I'm Never gonna... had eleven ever? I think you're already here. I have a Christmas. For real? Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let me just get those two hangers then, I guess. All uh, the models I've had is one, three, six, eight, two of them, nine, a ten, and that's it. Mm. Six out of Six out of the 14, if, if you want to be specific. All right, well, what we're going to have to do, we're going to need, uh, could you just bring me up some of the brown hangers and these police ones will just be on the brown hangers? Well, I haven't had one through 23. I didn't have the Jordan 2009, 2010, or 11. I do have a pair of Jordan 2012s. I have a pair of the Bel Air 28s. That's kind of where it ends. I mean, um, ones, I don't know, even though I've kind of found a, a new a new love for them this year again, um, I'm disappointed I was not able to get a newer pair that came out today. Very disappointed. The fact that pretty light skin hair just keeps walking around with them. You don't have no other shoes. So? <laughs> you got all the shoes in the world. Every pair of shoes. Literally every pair. Yeah, but I don't have those. Yeah, but you said you had the old ones. Yeah, but I, I, need a, I want a brand new pair. Brand new. You want mine? <laughs> you know, if I could still fit a seven, if I was still at Woodbury or something, probably. <laughs> Did you ever, did you get to, did you go to Woodbury or just middle school and middle middle school. high school? Yeah, if I was still at Woodbury when I was wearing a seven, I'd have, yeah, let me get it. But instead, I've got to suffer. You got every shoe though. Still. Some people feel the same when they buy shoes, but they don't do shoes. I don't know. I don't ever remember that happening. But I'll take your word for it. I could have sworn I seen a recent pick. You, you have a, my favorite cool gray Jordan of all time. What? You got the four. Uh, yeah, I got all the cool gray Jordans. <laughs> but they were easy to get too. You could just get them. I love that four. That cool gray four is. It's, it's the thing that sucks about it is because they're so old. The paint on the midsole is starting to chip a little bit. But I mean, again, in 2004, that whole year, I can't think of one Jordan that was tough to get. Because you started off with the Flint or the French Blue 12. Playoff 12, as far as retros. Then they started retro in the two. Nobody really cared about them. Including the, the Miller ones. Yeah, but mo- a, lot of oh, places, uh, a lot of places didn't get those. Like, those didn't come out anywhere here. See, those are so. the best days. And if it wasn't for that, that, um, that Soul Collector book with the, mm-hmm. with the um, I already know what you're Black with the Red Jumpman, mm-hmm. that's how I started to know, like, just the whole history of it. Yeah. And that's what got me on to his brand period, and um, even though I, even though I've been like late on releases as far as trying to get them or the simple fact that I just couldn't get them, mm-hmm. that's just completely honest. Like, like there was a time when I just couldn't get like, any any jays or kicks at all. But finally, when I did, I just pick and chose wisely on which ones that I want the most compared to everyone trying to get every release. I'm just trying to think. I think that year, the hardest release to get because you had to factor in the fakes. To me, from 02 until probably 07, 08-ish, fakes were rampant, too. Yeah, of course I remember um, that. <laughs> Why does see so many weird colorways? I want to say the biggest retro release in 2004 was probably the Olympic 7 because it was the first time it had ever came out. And they still weren't really hard to get, you know. Me and my boy Brandon just showed up and just got them, you know, and left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to uh, my homie Brandon, BZ131. What's going on, homie? Yeah. Um, so you had the Cool Gray. Then you, the Wheat 13. Which and that black and red one. Yeah, and even that at the end of the year, it still wasn't like the Olympic 7. 
you know, people wanted it, but it, yeah, I mean, in those days, every year you could say it was maybe between one and three releases people went crazy for. Like in 03, you had the, the Cement 3 drop randomly by itself. They were still $100. Um, the price. The white, <laughs> the Bugs Bunny 8, that was the first time it had ever got retro. Uh, the Black and Chrome 8. Both of the original low top 11s, but nobody cared about them. You know, those went on sale. Um, okay. Yeah, you really just go right into the 12 after that. And nobody really cared about them. People bought them, but it wasn't, wasn't like now. 99 to 06 or 07 to me was the best run of retro. I think once 2008 started, that's when it started to get. A little out of hand in there first because of those those packages. Well, yeah, yeah. Ag agreed. I mean, to me, the packages between the packages and the fusions. That's why Jordans oh, yeah, cost yeah. so much now. You know, because that 2007 black and red eight was the last retro to uh, to come out by itself before the countdown pack. That was at a price comparable to when they originally released in '93. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people forget that retros were. Within five or ten dollars, twenty dollars, or how much they cost back in the day. Um, ones were eighty. You know what I'm saying? The first one that was a hundred was they had an all white one in 2002 that had a jump man on the side, and the ball and wings was like iridescent. Then in 03, they had those three patent leather ones: the oh, Carolina, nice. the Chicago, and that black and gold one. Oh, we had a million of those too at finish uh, foot action. Um, yeah, they. I don't think they'll ever come out with those. But they don't really go for. They go for money, but they don't really go for money. The black and gold one is the one I see probably go for the most. The Chicago's don't really go for as much, and those white and Carolina ones don't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, 2000. 99, 2000, 2001, 2002 to me kind of where it started to change, where there started being more of them, you know, because they would come out like once every two to three months, you know, and then they got to a point where it was alternating where one month a regular Jordan would come out, then the next month a retro and it would kind of go like that, but 2006 was a really good year. I was just about to say, um, to me, the, the, the entire seven, man. Yeah, 2006 was, was really good. Just for Nike overall, between the Air Maxes they were bringing back, the Jordans, the Air Force Ones, the LeBron Ones, 3. The LeBron <laughs> three um, yeah. Hell, even the Mellow 5.5 was, was, a, was a, good, a good shoe that people, people, people generally hate on it. Because it is ugly, but it's pretty at the same time, if that makes sense. I'd love to have that black in Carolina or that black and white blue with the yellow mellow on the back. Now, mm. you know. He's only had a few halfway decent shoes. Most of them have been horrendous. But, uh, yeah, 07 really, you know, they had all those threes. You had the eights. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing I remember was the ace because the playoff ace was my first retro that I bought with my own money ever. Man. Now, if you can go back and get one retro from that time, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would probably be a four or a seven, probably. Um, Definitely those cool gray fours, and they will probably be. Can I do a top five? Yeah. <laughs> cool gray fours. The 01 black and red 11. Those yeah. still. Those things are monsters. Still old up to this day. Yeah, mine do. Crazy. That's the 11 I wear. Great, great, great materials. Um, Playoff 12s. Damn, they gave us a 3X. Playoff 12s from 2004. Yep. Um, 
Clint Grace Evans. Okay. And last but not least, I would probably go for What? <laughs> oh my God, I thought something was wrong the way you said my name. That should frighten me. Uh, yeah. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put them, but yeah. And, uh. Yeah, I will. Sure. Shit, didn't she sound like she was in some sort of distress? What was she going to do? Her tone was. First of all, okay, you never know. You know what I'm saying? I might leap over that mirror. You never know. What were you gonna do? Uh, I'm just some old soft weak nigga or something. Oh, two thousand sixes. Oh, the black infrared. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the only the only shoe from that period that I've never touched that I well, it's two. I always wanted the Lightning Four, but when they came out, I wasn't willing to pay two hundred fifty dollars to get the shoe in a windbreaker. <laughs> um, and the original Altitude 13 from 2005. They came out in 2010, but they added the 3M. Yeah. A lot of people like the 3M better. I like the leather better, but they just crease so heavy. You almost have to get them too small. All right, they end up looking wrinkly. But um, those are probably the only two. I mean, I've, I've either got or had everything else. Um, you know, Jordans were so easy to get back then. Even so. the 10s and 05, from what I remember, I liked all black ones, but to me, the best colorway was that white, red, and gray pair. I see, I sold those. That was the only pair. Um, Crazy. I just didn't. I got them because I could get them, but I just didn't like them enough to keep them. Somebody offered me like 250 for them. So. You got an old state look to them. Yeah. Like those on um, gray toe 13s. Yeah, I can see that. Um, or better yet, I, I just like well, red is my favorite color, but I also like it with different solid colors. So I, yeah, I like those. Uh, having mm. all them Jordan shirts with his face on them. You put them up. There's only like a couple. I don't know. I'm, hmm. Yeah, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, uh, they're underneath here, under all these jeans. Okay. Just leave them there. Well, let's um, just make sure that the backstop area is straight. Yeah. No problem. But yeah. Um, it's crazy. LeBron 3. It's a beautiful shoe. It's the best shoe. <laughs> In my opinion. Yeah. Even though I'm not a big fan. Actually, I'm not a fan of him no more. Not trying to offend no cast man. But <laughs> I like his early uh his early shoes, like that three and that two. Those is nice. The two is is definitely uh, didn't have those. It's definitely pretty. Yeah, the uh the two is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Um to me the two is kinda like the the Jordan 8 of LeBron's, because it's only three. Oh, yeah. It's only three of them. I mean, they got those two lows, but. You don't really count. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That was the summer shoe. And I remember those. He had the white and blue ones, that all star gray pair. And then the black and red. Yeah, and I like how you can take the strap off of them. Yeah. With that laser design. Like, they were real detailed. Nike was. A, Nike kind of overdid the laser, I think. If you remember, like, from maybe about 04 until. Well, through 06, they were putting laser in on everything, mm -hmm. you know. So, kind of glad that that's kind of, they only pull that out every now and then, you know. But, um, I guess the one thing I enjoy about nowadays, and I've said this on the show plenty of times before, is that, you know, people are still fanatical about Jordans, which is fine. But it's like, it makes it where Nike retros that aren't Jordans or phone passes. Oh, yeah. You can just kind of get. You I don't really have, have to. a pair of phones. Yes. But I've heard they are coming back with the whole anniversary thing. Yeah, they're bringing back some of the, um, well, they're bringing back the, since 
Yeah, since it's going to be 2017. Yeah, it would be 20 years of phone posit. You know, and they're bringing back some of the best retro colors. I like the deep purple on the, uh, the eggplant. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. You know, because, you know, that started off on the flight posit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It kind of made its way. The phone. That would actually go with this, uh, this here. You know. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's other kicks to always, you know, look at or choose from. Like other than Jordan Brand, I always like the the Nike basketball retro releases. The Jason Kidd shoe was my favorite. Now the Zoom Flight ninety five, yeah, okay, that's, that's a pretty strong uh, choice. When he came out with that career pack, that's when I was like, he wore them. I'm like, I had never seen him play it in those days. Mm -hmm. When I saw that career pack. I just like the model, and then when they came out with it in 2015, I happened to get that original pair. So that's like my favorite Nike uh, retro release in the 90s, along with the Penny too. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the fact that you can just, you know, you can just get it. You don't really have to play the waiting game. Yeah, do anything. You're able to just. Get in, get up. You know, because, you know, other than people like, like us, nobody cares about Weber's or Clark things for real. The CB94 will sell, but that's like the best known part. You know, they came out, well, they've come out with the Air Force 180 again, and it's just sitting. So, <laughs> I like I, the other Barclays. Um, it's like a strap on the tongue, and they got like, the bottom of the shoe say Sir Charles. Oh, okay, the Godzilla's. Yes. Those are supposed to come back uh, before the year is out because they've only retro those once. They came out the same time as the, uh, the Aquas in 2007. Well, there you have it. So those, and again, even though my pair is in really good shape because I got three colorways of that shoe, I'll probably still buy another one. Like I like that shoe that much where mm -hmm. I'd buy it again just to have a, a fresh pair. That's my next question. Which, like, like, do you think it's a good thing to, like, buy, like, more than one pair of a certain particular shoe that you just, like, absolutely adore and consider as your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do it. So, <laughs> you know, especially if they, <laughs> this has been times where it'd be something like, like, for instance, they, they're retro in the Air Force 180 again. Mm -hmm. Since they retro the... Olympic pair that he wore with the Dream Team, Barkley. People realize, oh, that black, white, red, and blue, the 76ers color, it's a real color. You know what I'm saying? Since the 76ers didn't make the playoffs that year, he didn't get to wear that color. But, and this is right before he got traded to the Suns, but I bought the pair from 2005, and when we put our the 2013 pair on sale here, I had to get it. I've worn both, and when they put the pair that's out now, on sale, I'll probably still buy it again. Wow. So that's one of your favorite. Yeah, it's just for some reason I just love that shoe. But there was one point all the way up until probably 2011, 2012, where every black and red Jordan I had at least two of. You know what I'm saying? But I, I wish I did. <laughs> I've gotten rid of a lot of my uh, doubles. <laughs> You know, I wish I could have. If I'd have knew you, you know, I'd have just sold them to you. I didn't, I didn't oh, know you at the time. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I was really, really big on black and red Jordans. I mean, at one point, the 11s, black and red 11s between 96 and uh, 2001, I probably had, at one point, I probably had about six, seven pairs of them. <laughs> because in 2001, they were like what the metallics are now where they were overproduced mm -hmm. to where I wanted to shoot so bad that City Blue, at the time, they were selling them like a month, two months early for 200 You know, I was 21 at the time, 2001, so I just, you know, $200. You know, I work. I'm still I'm in college. I live at home. You know, whatever. So then I bought another pair on release day for 125 then I bought two more pairs, maybe two months after that, because they were on sale for like $100. Mm. You know what I mean? So 
Because I remember how hard they were to get in 1996. I ended up getting a pair later down the line, but I wasn't able to get them when they came out. So that's kind of why it's like, oh, well, this shoe is out again. It looks a little different. The bottom is a little duller, you know what I'm saying, as far as the red. But, you know, I had to get them. You know, it was no question. You That's know. how I feel about it. It's just backstop. The reason why I asked that question is right now I'm contemplating on which Ricky colorway I want to do that to. Well, like, for instance, I have the ones you're wearing, and I have the blue ones. My blue ones are from 1996. I never got a retro pair. But um, when they go on sale, because they will go on sale, I I'm just going see to get. He's going to sell. Yeah, like yeah. I'm going to get all of them again. And my pair like that, I mean, I've worn since I've been working at this store. You know what I'm saying? Like I wore them maybe three or four times last year. But um, nothing like a new pair, especially on sale. They just have to be on sale. They can't be 160. You know, but 180, something like that. It's almost like nothing. That's hilarious. Yeah, we, we left that on there so people wouldn't line up. What's the tag on these? Uh, 268. Yeah, I mean, I that's one of your top five shoes of all time. You got to have two of those. Okay. You got to have two. I'm going to do that then and just put a different color lace on it. But just wait as long as you possibly can for them to get as cheap as they possibly are. You know Villa has tons of them. Every Villa has them. So, you know, because I mean, if the, the one in Southgate is the outlet, they have them. You know, I would just wait. Unless you, you, you know, I might well see, like, you all almost out of these or whatever like that. Or, you know, I'd see, but, yeah, no more than 100. 115 tops. Because even with those pippins, you know, I'm going to get them from you. I'm mad I missed them when the outlet had them for eight. No. So, yeah, uh, that's that's what I would do. I would take your word for it. And, uh, <laughs> and I like the emeralds too. Like I've been trying to just. I would wait the longest on those. You might find those over here, unless you want them brand new. I belong on with you. I never been. I don't need to go. Since you're over here, you need to go with it. Not like we have regular Nike retros and our Jordans. Love it, I'm a black. I have another pair of um, Orlando Penny Ones, and they were like eighteen dollars. I got my that's carnival. Another, that's ones. another penny I like. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of people that buy there don't really know about shoes that aren't Jordans. Definitely in there. Check it out. Yeah, this, this Griffey one to me was my favorite release due, due to the Super Bowl. He made it to the Hall of Fame. He also like, like he just to me one of the best you know baseball players of all time. Yeah, he's the best player 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 of all time. Yeah, he's the his Hall of Fame patch, mm-hmm. Mariners jersey tees, uh, yeah. and the 24 Ever shirts. And on top of that, the three original colorways for the Griffey ones. Easiest release ever for me. In and out. Now, even though we're just halfway open, we're not officially open yet, and I have the door unlocked and letting people come in here, I hate when kids be like, y'all hiring. Like, I've never done that. Ah, I hate that. Y'all hiring. <laughs> First of all, I'm in the middle of a conversation with you. You said me to, you know what I'm saying? You didn't even say I'm excuse me. Just, y'all hiring? You could have said it in a more... Yeah, like, it's like, man, fuck you. Mannerable way. <laughs> yeah. That's why I just said it like, well, like I'm not. No. Uh, fuck out my face. Well, when you said that, I, I, I even felt the tone. <laughs> and then I had to say it again. Like, nigga, you know you heard me. Uh, so much. You know, because I've actually told kids before, like, this isn't really how you try to get a job. You know. You gotta be much better than me. And it's like, because I'm here messing with these clothes, you know, he ain't know that I'm the one that decides who hires or whatever, but, 
you know, yeah. I just, I don't like that shit. Put my little rant there in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, it's nothing wrong with having doubles. I never, I never feel like it is. You know, I, I, if it's a shoe that I love, you know, when I, when I, when I used to make more, more money, I used to do it. Buy everything. Before I got all these responsibilities. And I'm saying this pre kid, so I shudder to think how it's going to be if I ever have any children. <laughs> I've, I've turned heads with that Merino jersey. Uh, oh, like, did you wear you them with the speed turns? No, um, I don't even have those. Oh, okay. I wish I did, but I, I just wear them with like a black shoe or a pair of boots or whatever. But yeah, it's not a, not a common common jersey to see is like to me a certain throwbacks like whatever the throwbacks were were real high. Like everybody had the Lance all work with the the lightning bolts on the on the uh yeah. you know um basketball of certain ones like seemed like everybody had Dr. J. Um any like red, white and blue, you know Oh yeah that bullets one. Yeah, yeah. you know and then you know when when the then they had the Jordan one, you know, which isn't a real throwback. And yeah. I hated the fact that he wore that. I'm like, that's his era with the Bulls. Like, he never wear that jersey. So you weren't a fan of Wizard Jordan? I never really <laughs> wanted him to come back, but I, um, I guess I understood why he did it. I suppose. Uh-huh. <laughs> I suppose. But nah, I mean. The way that he felt about the game kind of how I feel about the sneaker game now. No love for it. He, he loved the game so much that he came back. But it was just, it, was, it, was, it wasn't his time no more. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like how, and this is just a, you know, slight metaphor, but um, it's sort of like how you may be dealing with a female and after a while... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She won't be as quick to respond to your texts, or she may not call as quick as she did before. You know, and y'all ain't already together. It might be another nigga already on the scene, or or whatever. You, you know, your time has passed with that. It's the same thing to me with, with, with you know, if you're in the rap game, if you're in the, if you're in the sports, you know what I mean? Your, your time is just, like when he would be in the All-Star games, he would be like Vince Carter and McGrady. He didn't really fit in with them. He needed to be with, the late 90s is the furthest it could go. You, Young Tim Duncan, younger Jason Kidd, Grant Hill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to me, his era is really Barkley, Ewing, uh, Elijah Wan, Carl Malone, Drexler. you know what I mean? Drexler, kind of that tail end of Magic and Bird, you know what I'm saying? But being with McGrady and Vince Carter and Steve Francis and Iverson, Iverson you know, that's, that's not his time. <laughs> that's how I feel with the shoe game. Yeah. Where it's like I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on to dear life, <laughs> you know, because the way it is now with these raffles and the way these these kids are, I just, ugh, I hate it. Never even tried to do this raffle thing, and I don't plan on to. It's just, it's just too much. Too much. So, we're gonna wrap up part one. You got a little bit more time, or are you about to be out? Got a little more time. All right, we'll be right back with part two. Leave y'all with some uh, some parting music or an end.